What's going on guys, Rye Flawless here, bringing you our third and final new era of Pokemon PvP video. The game is coming out so soon, and I'm really excited about this. This video is going over the new trailer, talking about the improved techniques for Pokemon training. Let's get into it. Alright guys, this is one I'm really excited about. This is super cool, and this is going to make training easier for everyone and bring competitive Pokemon to the mainstream. So first we're going to talk about changing natures. It'll be simply done by an item now. Instead of having to catch the specific nature Pokemon in the wild, um, or by breeding it onto that Pokemon, that's taken out just a simple item and what natures do is raise a stat 10%, lower a stat 10% as you can see, special attacks raised, attack is lowered. And this is just really awesome that it's easier now. And now you can also use supplements to max out stats. Before you could only use supplements um, up to 10 in each stat. And it's really cool that now you can actually go forward and max out the stat. Um, and I'll explain effort values more at the end of the video, just to explain why this is important and really cool. And this one I think is a little lackluster. I'll go into more details about this at the end of the video, but it will kind of help to be able to take moves from further trained Pokemon and pass them down to lower level Pokemon via this technique. And being able to access the box anywhere is also really cool. And it's something that we saw come into fruition in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Seeing it come back is actually really cool and will help this game progress a lot faster. You won't have to go back and forth to the Pokemon Center. And I'm super excited about that. And this, level up using EXP candies. This is also cool because when you're competitive training, you want to get the Pokemon up to level 50. This will help you get there. Some Pokemon also evolve later than level 50, so this will help you evolve those Pokemon faster. And also, if there's Ultra Train coming back, it'll help you get to level 100 faster as well. So this is actually something really cool and will help speed up the process. Alright guys, let's go into some of these things in a bit more detail. So, um, the supplements being able to max out a stat. So as far as effort values goes, because based on seeing the old supplement names come back, I think we'll go back to the traditional way of effort value training. And that means you can have a max of 510 effort values. Each four effort values is worth one stat point. And you can have a max of 255 effort values in one stat, but you can only actually utilize 252 since it has to be in multiples of four. So I'm thinking that being as you can max it out with a supplement means that they'll probably make the cutoff be 252 so you're not wasting effort values in a stat by using the supplements all the way to the top. And another thing that I think will have to be realized or touched on in the game is, is there going to be a way to reset effort values? Just because if you're training through the game, your effort values are going to go into stats you don't want them in. Is there going to be a way to reset that? Or will we not get effort values by training the wild at all? And if that's the case, how will we be able to get smaller increments of effort values within each stat. So these are some things that kind of need to be answered still about the new games, but I'm sure we'll find out when we get them. And then the other thing I wanted to bring up was just the moving egg moves. I don't think it's exciting that you can get egg moves from one Pokemon of the same species to another. The reason you generally use egg moves is getting moves that can only be learned on a certain Pokemon those moves through other Pokemon through breeding so it'd be really cool if you could get Pokemon in the same egg group and pass on those egg moves going from species to species isn't really all that exciting in my opinion 
Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was a lot of fun for me. I'm really excited about all this information. I hope that you find this informative about training Pokemon competitively in the new games. And I really find that this is going to make it easier for people who didn't competitively train in the past to now join the world of Pokemon PvP. But thank you guys so much for watching. You're all flawless, and I'll see you next time. Bye!